All right, I wanted to do a really quick Procreate tutorial on how to make this Procreate brush that I was dreaming about since lunch. Okay, first you could just take whatever canvas. The canvas is not that important. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your brushes that you like the most. And in my case, it was a just a regular brush that was streamlined and it's just kind of a square brush. So I just put it in there and then I click on it. And as you can see, it's just a basic brush we have going on here. So now what you wanna do is take that brush and you're gonna duplicate it. And you do that by swiping to the left. So now click on the second brush, swiping to the right, and you're selecting them. And as you can see up here, it says combine. You're gonna click that. And now you have two brushes in one. So click on your combined brush here. And now you can see there's two brushes in here. Now, if you just click on one area of the combined area, it has a combined mode and when you click on that drop arrow there you get a choice and in those choices you're going to pick difference and so as you can see it erased the line marks because they're basically the same now we're going to start with editing this first brush here and we are going to start editing the Properties just go through the properties and we're going to start with using our maximum size So I pushed the maximum size to about 50 I believe And then I didn't mess with the minimum size so now click on your second brush and now click on properties and If you took and you pushed it to 50% for the maximum size It starts to look the same because basically they're the same two brushes that are overlapping each other So you're not going to want to do that So I messed around with it a little bit and I think I ended up with it Just moving it around a couple times to get it just right either you want it to be thicker on the top or if you want it to be thinner on the bottom either or this is where you're going to be doing the editing and so I went back and forth between the two brushes and tweaking just a little bit to get it looking just how I want it to look when I start writing. So now that I figured out how I want my brush to look, I just hit done and then I just played around with it a little bit. Obviously you want to change the color to different than your background canvas. And I just basically played around with it for a little bit. So while using this brush, if you're writing in cursive and your pen quote unquote never leaves the paper, that's good. So as you can see, everything is all one big tube for a lack of a better word um but if you start writing in print and you as you can see that d there it starts to do this little thing where it starts over again so you have them overlapping and that's not what you want but you know if you have it in a circle like this it all connects so if i draw this a it overlaps because the pen is leaving the paper, quote unquote. So if you really have to print or whatever, just get in there and get your eraser out and erase the areas that you don't want to be overlapping. Either you do it behind it or in front of it, either or you can either do it like that. So as you can see, I'm gonna write in cursive and if your pen leaves the paper, that's fine. You're going on to another word. But if you're doing the same word and you're leaving the paper, it's gonna overlap. So this is a good pen for like cursive writing, but you can use it for print if you want to. Okay, I was wrong. Upon further examination, upon playing with it for a couple hours and writing things over and over again, I realized that you can cross your T's and make F's and D's and all that stuff without 
having to erase any lines. Basically the concept is to keep your pen, it's the same concept as with the cursive, keeping the pen on the paper, quote unquote, or keeping the pen on the screen. And so while keeping your pen on the screen, we're gonna draw a J here. And so I just went right back over the line I just did and went right back to cross my J. Or I just started with the cross and worked my way down, just keeping inside the lines and making sure that the pen doesn't leave the screen. I cannot believe how I couldn't figure this out for a quite a while. Basically just making sure that you stay inside the lines and that the pen doesn't leave the screen and that's it. You can make letters, print letters and cursive letters without having to erase any lines. Ta-da. Just play around with it to get the feel for yourself and have fun. Oh, and another thing, you can take and um, fill in the middle of a design, or you can actually fill in the outline of the design, what? And I really, really love this brush so much. I'm really excited for all the things I can make with it. All right, make sure that you name your brush you go down to about this brush and at the top here that's where you put your title i just kind of wish that procreate put a little x there so you can just erase it all but whatever we're gonna hit the backspace and so i just name you just name it whatever you want to name it because you made it yourself and so i named it outline brush basic outline brush you can sign your work you can actually put a picture here if you want to um, you can name who you are as you are the creator of that brush or whatever and go on with your life. So that's how you make a brush and you can name a brush. And there you have it. If the name is right there. So if you use this brush to create something and you post it on Instagram, be sure to tag me because I want to see what you use this brush for. And whatever you use it for, just make sure you're having fun when you're using it. And as always, thank you for watching.